Can't you dump trucks over there? You have a sign here that says, uh, people kill people, people with assault weapons kill more people. Uh, what do you think about uh, handguns actually kill more people than rifles? Well, handguns don't only have six rounds. They shouldn't have 44 rounds. So you think, I mean, but you can continue having more clips on your person, right? And there's like no adapters. Clips. Uh, no clips. Make them change. Make them change? Yeah. I well, mean, it's ridiculous to have military assault rifles going around assault killing rifles. people. Uh, and that at least we should be able to do. Right. What do they call it an assault rifle? So that you can, it's a military weapon so that you can kill high volumes of people. That's what it's designed for. So like the knives that they have are also called assault knives, anything military? No. No, yeah. we're well, just saying, just start with the simple stuff. If you can't get you know, assault rifles out. You and ads to, to people. You know, the, the stuff that the military uses shouldn't be commercially available. Yeah. Don't you think that in, if we want to get rid of uh, these kinds of weapons, shouldn't we universalize it and, and say the military also shouldn't have these things no, either? No, the military is here to protect us. But civilians shouldn't be marching around having this kind of weapons. If they want to join the military, join the military. The or join Guard, the National Guard. Guard. That's what it's for. That's what the Second Amendment's for. So do you think it's wise then that the only people who should have these kinds of weapons are people like Trump? Well, he's the president. He's the president, right. Yeah. You don't think he's a fascist? No, he's, no, the, he's, he's just the president. president. You, don't, you don't have like this ill feel. You have an Obama t-shirt, so I imagine you have ill will towards Trump. And I'd imagine then that the last people you would want to have these kinds of weapons are that particular regime. We what? feel very strongly that the military is reliable and honorable. Honorable? Thank you very much. Okay. I mean, they didn't really fare well with the Jews, right? That the, they couldn't have guns or weapons. They were registered and they were told that they're not allowed to have uh, means to protect themselves. And then we see what ended up happening with well, them. Don't you think government can become tyranny towards its own people? No, no, we have uh, far too many protections, National Guard, police. That's not a problem. The uh, Forest Service you. in Florida, though, they didn't protect those students, though. That, that was they one hid, guy. right? That was, that was four guy. people hiding like cowards. So we get rid of all guns? All guns. I'm from Britain. You're from Britain, so the government no should guns. have no guns either. No. No. No one should have any guns. Now, what, what do you think? Though you have no guns in Britain. No, but we have now. We have armed police because of terrorists. That's all. We have to have some because of that. But that means. But we don't have. You can't go into a shop anywhere in Britain and buy a gun, however old you are. Do you think that could be a way for the British to defend themselves against those terrorists, blowing up bridges? Well, we're not going to have guns. We're going to have armed police. Yeah, they don't really. But what about like if they? What about you? Are able to arm yourself against that terror? So no, an the more where the you guy have guns, chair. the more you have other people with guns. So it actually goes mad. You've got to leave guns to the armed police to do it. You don't arm people. That's how you get the most terrible tragedies and accidents. You guys take away plastic knives from from people 18. Don't well, you think that's ridiculous? Well, we're not actually. We're not in England. Actually, our prime minister. Not that I like her. She's not trying to arm our teachers with knives. Yeah, but plastic knives, even for children can buy them until they're 18. Uh, can you tell me what you're marching for or against? The NRA. The NRA. Uh, yeah, um, I believe that like kids in classrooms should not be able to die because people want to own assault weapons and stuff like that. What? Uh, and so what, what kind of assault weapons are you talking about? Anything with mass murder like the AR-15. I'm not sure what all like the names are but like anything that can like kill people in mass numbers should not be allowed. Do you know what uh, AR-15 stands for? Assault rifle? No. What does it stand for? Armalite. It's a manufacturer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. What is it yeah. again? Armalite. Armalite? Yeah, that's, that's the armor factory, yeah. It has nothing to do with a uh, <laughs> assault rifle in there. Yeah. Uh, don't you think, though, uh, in terms of the NRA, right, there's, there's no NRA that's ever killed anyone. Right? They're kind of responsible over, like, of all the gun owners in the country, like 99.99% .99 of them are, are kind of responsible for that, for, for their own weapons. Um, do you, you hear about the church shooting in Texas mm -hmm. where the guy shot up a couple people in the church? It was an NRA member. I'm not an NRA, but I'm saying it was an NRA member that went to his truck with his friend chasing that, that shoot, the killer down, and he shot him with, with the rifle. What do, you, what do you think of that? I mean, if... Neither of them had the gun in the first place. None of them had them in the first place? It like, wouldn't have mattered. So you're saying if you make it illegal, no one can have them? It works really well for cannabis, right? Cannabis is illegal, you know, yeah. you've never seen anyone have marijuana. I mean, it still be, <laughs> it's, it'll be harder to get, but it'll like... They could get them in prisons. Yeah. Yeah. What, what are, uh, are you out here advocating for? 
I'm advocating for people. Let me get my mind off that real quick. Um, let me change my. Okay, I'm advocating yeah. for people to you know start. What's the word? Um, okay. Just I'm advocating for. Uh, and there should be, we should be rallying for we should be rallying against team suicide. We should be rallying for better and mental emotional health services. We should absolutely we should be rallying for those things too, as well as the, as well as the gun issue. The gun issue is an issue, but it's not the only issue. But it seems I don't like think it's much of an issue. Most of the deaths that gun deaths are attributed to can count for like point zero zero zero. Uh, Four zeros, and then a four, right? Very less than less than one percent of all uh, the deaths here in the country. It's not really much of an issue. The media portrays it and uh, mass it to be us uh, in terms of cessationism, but it's not a really that much of a big threatening issue. Gun gun deaths, for example, have been on decline in the past uh, decades. Uh, here in D.C., you okay, know, you have a. Uh, but besides the idea of government taking over, why does anybody need a machine gun or an AR-15? Yeah. To prevent government from uh, becoming tyranny. Besides that issue. That is the biggest issue. Yeah, that is why, the yeah. biggest issue. But what, what business is it to you? What, I, what, what kind of property you have? Right? Yeah, you got a point yeah. there, but I'm just saying that there's I'm not really going to tell you what you can't have in your There's just not a reason for that. Like you can say the same thing. What's a re good reason for people to watch anime? I think anime is atrocious. I think, you know, it's a violation of uh, aesthetic I, taste. And I agree with you. <laughs> okay, I agree with you. <laughs> I think it's uh, the, the whole fact that uh, people can march. In protest is just awesome. Yeah. I like being go, around the action. Do it. Yeah. yeah, go do it. Right, like, exercise freedom of speech. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, don't infringe on my uh, property rights there, right? Yeah. <laughs> you see what's happening now? They're, they're at that school, they're going to have to wear like uh, clear backpacks. Really? Plastic clear backpacks. So anyone can see what's inside your backpack. That's crazy. Uh, there's going to be like metal detectors. There's some schools that says we're going to arm our students with rocks. What? Yeah, they're going to pelt them with rocks. If someone were to come in, you know, we got our salt rock ready. <laughs> it's gray in color, very frightening. It's got an ergodynamic grip. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, so you're saying that, true. don't you think that gun-free zones is something that you need government to enforce then? No. Well, that's how they're enforced. Government says these are gun-free zones. I, I don't, I don't, I you, don't. You say that, but I, you're advocating for a gun-free zone, which is a government law forcing people to disarm themselves and have no means to protect no. themselves. No, they have a means to protect themselves. No, no, that's not what a gun-free zone is. No guns are and, allowed. And because... I didn't. Oh, did I say guns or did I say they have a means of protecting themselves? Gun-free zones. You see, you you're taking the things. Zones. No, 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 but, no. But you're also taking my words when I said you they said have right? means of protecting themselves. And in a gun-free zone, you have no means to protect yourself. You don't. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't think that. I thought that people um, could had martial arts without gun-free zones. Oh, okay. So someone comes with a gun, you're gonna karate kick them in the in the ear. <laughs> Yeah, yes.